you doing everyone? Ted Greenfield, over 50 and learning to fly. And I am coming to you from this rainy, rainy day inside my cockpit to give you one, one message, one message and one message only. And that is you are not too old. I've been getting a lot of emails basically asking the question, hey, am I too old? Am I too old to buy a plane? Am I too old to get into this altogether? And just, am I too old? And the answer is, you are not too old. That is absurd. I started this YouTube channel a while ago just because I thought it would be cool and I wanted to encourage people and I didn't really know what direction it was gonna take. The biggest direction it's taken is that it's encouraging other people to get into aviation or to pick it back up again at this stage of life. To read the comments and to get the shout outs that I've been getting even on the radio. 2214 Yankee, love your channel. Hey, thank you, thank you. You coming off of the, you coming off of the Potomac? Uh, negative, I'm down at Tappahannock. Okay, thanks. One for Yankee, I appreciate it. I think that is just so awesome and I'm overjoyed at the fact that this is actually having such a big impact on people. I want to take a look at these people right now who are older than us, but they are still kicking ass in what they do. So let's look at Daryl Hall, Lauren Michaels, Ringo Starr, Paul McCartney, the entire Rolling Stones, Harrison Ford. And that's what's in store for us if we play our cards right and if we do one thing. And that's lean into this period of our lives with our foot on the gas. You are not too old to get into aviation. Whether you want to go all the way and get your commercial pilot and your commercial pilot's rating and your multi-engine rating, or you just want to get your private pilot's license, or even if you want to become a CFI, you are not too old. There was somebody who just posted on the Facebook group, Over 50 and Learning to Fly, that they got their private pilot's license at 68. That is so amazing. And look at the example that is setting for everybody that's kind of in our age group. And I wanna shatter this aging thing because there's, I'm 57 and I still feel pretty young. I uh, have a little bit of gray hair, but that just is the splendor of wisdom. But more so is that I have more in front of me than I ever did in my entire life. And I am more passionate and I'm stepping on the gas about my life. And I can't tell you how excited I am about the next 25 or even 30 years of my life into this. And that enthusiasm carries over into your health, into your relationships, into every other piece. So you are not too old to get into this no matter where you decide to take it. You need a plan for this stage of life. So get a plan, transition from that work life into your post work life, but step on the gas and treat it with as much seriousness and planning as when you did with your professional life because this could be much more rewarding and also we're in control of a lot more. We have a little bit more money. We have our gray hair of the splendor of wisdom, we'll call it. And we can really navigate around a whole lot we couldn't navigate before. So anyway, I hope this information helped. I so glad that you like the channel. Go ahead, subscribe, hit the like button, do all that stuff. Send me a line, drop me an email at over50 and learning to fly at gmail.com. And if you are over 50, get up and get in the air. Thanks for watching.